All right, in my garage here, I have this towel holder, which I hate. It came with the house, and you can see it's a, it's just a Rubbermaid one, um, but this is made to hang on like a wall, not under cabinet. So like, if I try to roll the... Heh, <laughs> that wasn't intentional, but that's one of the reasons I hate it. Um, if you try to roll it back up, um, you can see here, these push in, so it's meant to be on the wall. So basically this would be facing up. So whoever put this in, uh, use this wrong, and I've just been dealing with this. So I'm gonna go and get a new one, except I went to go look and they're like really expensive. They're like $15 a piece or more for a towel holder. I was like, I have a printer. We're gonna print that. So let's go shopping on Thingiverse. Okay, so I looked and I'm like, I'm not going to pay $10 for a towel holder, okay? Let's just be honest, guys. We have 3D printers. This is why we got them. Well, one of the many reasons. I can definitely print this for cheaper. So let's go on Thingiverse and find a good model. All right, let's see. Paper, towel, holder. Now, I want something that's going to be easy to, like, kind of put things in and out. Um... This one catches my eye here. So this is under cabinet mount. And it's got a little thing here. Now, one thing I do, I always read the comments here to see what things are. Okay, the screws are too big. Someone says the Remix has a correct screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and download these files here and then we're gonna get this printed up and then we're gonna mount it. I'm gonna get rid of that stupid one in my garage that likes to send the paper towel roll flying halfway across the garage most of the time. So I pulled the files here into S3D and you can see that these are not gonna print like this. So looking at this, I'm gonna wanna print these with the large faces down. So I'm gonna hit Control L and you can see here, now it's highlighting the faces. I'm gonna click here and that'll put that on the bed. And I'm also gonna do the same thing here. And if I do a Control R, which will auto arrange, you'll see, well, these are not gonna fit on my Ender 3. Now I can drag them around and print them. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and rotate this so it will be more compact on the bed. I do this a lot. So if you rotate these and do an auto range, it still won't fit. But uh, in Simplify, if you press W, you can drag your parts around. So I can kind of nest these within each other, get the knob here. And then if I do a Control A and Control G, it'll put them into a group. And then I hit Control R and it'll center them. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is set. I'm going to do my Ender 3. I'm going to do like 30% of fill. And I'm just going to print this in some random inland filament I've had laying around. And so let's go ahead and slice this up and I'm gonna send it over to the printer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my computer here. I'm gonna tell this is PLA Ender 3. I just go ahead and do that so I know I got multiple printers. So I'm gonna save that and let's head over to my printer. So I got my printer here. I'm gonna go ahead and power it up because I'm using the easy plug. Let's go ahead and upload our G code and we're gonna let this upload and then we're gonna also use arc welder on it. So you can see here I have my Octoprint set up this extra easy pie that I'm using. So it's gonna automatically process the arc welder. If you wanna have automatic processing on, we don't have it on by default. You can go to arc welder and hit edit the settings and you can have the file processing be manual or automatic or both. So by default, if you're using our easy pie image, it's gonna be manual only, but I have this one set to automatic and manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this print. You can see here, my bed's all clear. Um, I got the easy cam on here. So I'll also post the time-lapse of this printing. So. We're going to go ahead and get this started, and then I'm going to show you guys how to mount it all up, and then I'm going to live happier knowing that I don't have to deal with that stupid towel holder anymore. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take down this old one, which uses two Phillips screws. And I have the stationary bracket here from the new one. And I went through my screw bin and I found some little tapered screws that actually fit. So I'm gonna put the one side up and then we need to measure the distance between these two according to the width of the roll so we can mount the other side at the correct distance. So I take the roll here and take the other end 
and I'm going to make a mark with my permanent marker on the actual cabinet so I know where this goes. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, make sure to get as straight as possible. All right, I got my line here, so I'm going to make sure the back of this lines up with this when I put the screws in. All right, and that should be it. And I'm going to unscrew this. You see this? You put the towel in here and put this back in. Oh, look at that. I don't have to worry about this falling down anymore. This is a quality of life improvement. That's great. So much better. And if I need to change the roll, all I do is unscrew this. And it comes out. Put it back in. And there we go. So much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little project. If I do little stuff like this around the house, I'm gonna to try to record it. So I can show you guys what I use my printers for other than just printing parts for other printers. So I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, happy printing.